Hey, what's up guys? Solid Dubbed here and today I'm doing a video review on the TomTom Tom Spark Cardio Plus Music Sports Watch. I'd like to thank TomTom Tom for actually sending me this out for a review. Most people will know TomTom Tom from their GPS and their uh, navigation system, so it's nice to see them in this part of the market. Now the watch can be found for £175 on Amazon.co.uk and around $200 on Amazon USA. I should mention this is the Cardio Plus Music version. You can get the non-cardio and non-music version as well. More details of that will be found on my website, and speaking of which, check out my full written review of um, the watch on my website, link will be down in the description below. It goes into much more detail than this video will do, so if you're definitely interested in the watch, then I, I, I would highly suggest you reading through my review, as it, it will explain all the different features, which I won't be able to cover in a 10 minute video. Now, within the packaging, you've got um, a manual, a set of manuals, you've got the watch and its default uh, black strap, and you've got its um, connector, which is over here. Now, in my package, I also got uh, the TomTom Tom, um, uh, earphones, which are included in a current promotion, which is going on at the moment. Now, obviously, the promotion can run out, so I can't guarantee you're going to get these earphones within the packaging, but I'm not going to review the earphones. They came with a set of uh, small and large um, tips and a micro USB to USB cable. The earphones sound decent, but given their price, they're a bit... Um, um, bit too expensive for what they offer. If you want better uh, earphone suggestions, just give me a shout in the comments below and I'll let you know uh, what to get in terms of Bluetooth earphones. Now, the connector is a proprietary connector. You're gonna need this if, you're, uh, if you want to um, um, charge the watch or connect it to the uh, My Sports um, Connect uh, program on your PC. Now, the connection is very simple. As you saw, I just popped out the watch and all you do is connect up um, the connector like that, connect the connector, yo dog, um, and uh, plug it into your uh, PC. In my case, my Windows PC picked it up straight away, I installed the um, program and it provided me uh, useful statistics uh, via website of what I had done today and this week. Great functionalities and it's a great um, um, addition to the watch. I should also mention that on my Android phone I downloaded the app which is again my sports uh, app uh, by, to uh, by Tom. Tom, and that also provides me fantastic detail statistics. Again, if you want more details, check out my website. You'll see what I what you can do via the app and the program. Now, you will need this cable to connect um, the the watch, of course, but you will also need it in order to charge the device. Speaking about charging, I'd like to mention about its battery life. Now, my biggest grip about um, uh, smart watches or just watches nowadays is that their battery life is really poor. In comparison to the actual watch without a sort of interface, they last you for literally years or oh, over six months on a single um, a lithium ion battery. Smartwatches unfortunately nowadays last less than 20 hours or so and it's quite disappointing. This is not the case with the TomTom. Tom. What I noticed is over a weeks of usage and an actual week of actual um, having the watch um, enabled. Obviously this will depend on usage and even TomTom Tom say that if you're going to have the GPS, the music functionality and the heart rate sensor all running at once, you're estimated about three to five hours of battery life. So again, your mileage may vary as they say and in this case, the more you interact with the watch and the more functionalities you use of the watch, the less your battery life. And that's pretty much common sense with any sort of device, including a laptop or a phone. So bear that in mind when you're going to get the watch. But in my opinion, in comparison to other uh, watches out there, especially smart watches, I found the TomTom Tom to perform fantastically um, given its functionalities. Now, I want to speak about its build quality before getting to the actual software part of the um, review. The, the strap included um, itself is fantastic. I really do like the strap, although I don't like its look. Its look is quite bland and it looks pretty poor. Um, it looks quite cheap if you ask me. But in terms of um, actually connecting up um, the the strap, it's secure because it connects in two places. One being over here and then the second one, well if I can do it, and the second one is around um, the corner. Now I'm being really miserable on video but es essentially it connects up really well, there we go, and provides you a really secure, um, a secure harness. This means that you can do any sort of sports including swimming and it, the watch won't magically fall out. In order to pop the watch you have to push it down, therefore the watch can't pop out this way. So it's great. And on top of that, it's quite lightweight. Its overall weight is 50 grams, including the watch, meaning you don't really feel it on your hands. 
I should also mention that um, you can buy different straps for about 15 to 20 pounds so if you do want to customize the look you can always do so. So it's, it's looks and design isn't fantastic in my opinion but its actual functionalities are great. Um, and given me who doesn't really like actually wearing normal watches this watch was fantastic to wear and I didn't even feel it when I was cycling which is a huge plus. Now moving on from its actual um, strap to the actual um, device itself. Now it's got a heart rate monitor at the back which is great to include. It's not something I would fully trust in comparison to actual doctors for example. If they've got um, any, if you've got a medical condition of some sort you shouldn't be trusting smartwatches um, in order to uh, monitor your heart rate. However, if you want something to give you a ballpark figure and you don't have a heart condition of sorts then this watch is fantastic. In comparison to other watches I've previously seen this uh, TomTom watch does a great job in giving you a real-time statistic. In order to enable it you just simply go down on the main menu, uh, go to sensors, heart and then switch it on and then you'll see a green light beaming through and then if you just place it on your skin anywhere actually uh, don't quote me on anywhere, but uh, most places I've tried where you'd put a watch, they, they, it gives you an accurate, well, reasonably accurate heart rate. And there you can see I'm um, at 62, which is okay. It's not bad. It's all right. But it's pretty accurate is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, moving on to um, the build quality of the watch itself. Uh, I mentioned the heart rate, but the actual watch itself it can survive 40 meters on the water. Now, I don't have a massive swimming pool of 40 meters of depth, but what I can say is that when I threw water at it and left it in a sink for a little while, it survived and under rain, obviously, it didn't have any problems. So given its waterproof functionality, it's great um, and I, it's also a good functionality to, to have and a good feature, sorry, to have um, around a watch, especially if you're going to be taking it on the go or you're going to be doing some heavy exercises or a jumping through mud or whatever, then this watch will survive. Also, its rugged sort of feel to it means it's great if you dropped it, it's not going to break or its glass is not going to shatter. Shout out to you, Apple. Um, but uh, essentially, it's not going to break or cause you any sort of uh, problems. Now let's move on to the actual functionalities of the watch and the software. Now, as I said, you can get the app and the program on your PC, Android, iOS, or any other device, and it works fantastically. It gives you full detailed statistics of what you can see, um, um, what you've done on your watch, but more than anything, um, allows you to track it. Now, the software on the actual watch itself is what I'm going to be looking at and I must say that it's really really complex so much so that I spent probably th uh, two to three hours just going through it um, and playing around with it because there's so many functionalities you can do if I go left on this little joystick and yes this little thing over here which looks kind of odd is um, for your joystick controls if I go left or right you'll see the functionalities now what I want you to uh, see is the little lag now if I press left here you can see that there's a lag there. Now that lag occurs each time I switch on, um, well, switch on the uh, smart um, smartwatch. When I pr press it for the first time, it's got a delay. But once I'm using it, then it's uh, got no delay whatsoever. You also get haptic feedback when you're using it, which is a nice little feature. But as you can see, as I've gone left, you can see all different sort of settings. And then I go left again, you've got this week. If I go back to the main um, watch menu and go up, that's where the uh, Bluetooth functionality comes in. Now with the music functionality, um, I noticed a little bit of a problem. And the problem is, is that when you've got music playing and you actually use the watch and you're going through settings, for example, there's always a little bit of a delay um, or sort of a lag that occurs and the music kind of cuts out for a split second whilst you're cycling through the menus. That is a little problem I've noted and I looked around on the reviews and other people have also mentioned this, but I can't really see people interacting with their watch that much whilst you have your um, um, Bluetooth uh, device connected. Now through the software you can do loads of different things, as I said it will take me hours to go through all of this, but you've got all different functionalities and the functionalities are fantastic. Again check out my website for full details. Through the settings you can do a lot of things including switching on to airplane mode and even look at the different standards it's passed. What I'm trying to say here is that the software is really complex, you're going to have to spend a lot of time looking through it and its functionalities are great. Although it could be a little bit perfected through that uh, music mode, which is something I would suggest for TomTom Tom to look into. Overall, the watch is fantastic. Now, I'm just bringing it down to the conclusion because I know I'm running into 10 minute mark now, but 
its overall functionalities are fantastic. It's really fit for purpose, it's fit for those who want to do exercise, and it's not those looking to be flashy and everything. It's great for what it does, and given its price, I can see myself recommending it, although its software could be a little bit better, and its design and looks could be just a little bit better as well. But anyway, that's little nitpicking bits over there. Anyway guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this re uh, review. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, and all that good stuff. Alright guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.